Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to make some glassware for a laboratory. I start way over here on the left and I take one finger and I put a dot. And from that dot I draw a slightly curved line down, up, over, and connect. Starting right here at the tip, I'm going to draw another slightly curved line down, curve line over, come up on the right, straight line down, connect. I come back to the left and I draw a little curve line, straight line, curve line up, connect. On the left hand side I put little straight lines all the way down. Okay. I want it to look like there's something in it, so I'm going to draw just a wavy, wavy line across. And I want it to look like there's something stinky in it, so I'm going to draw some little wavy, wavy lines above. Okay? Come to the next in the middle. Come all the way up here to the top and put a dot. From that dot, I'm going to draw a flat oval. On the left hand side, I'm going to draw a straight line down. On the right hand side, I'm going to draw another straight line down. Right at the bottom of this line, I draw a big curved line out, flat line over. On the right hand side, big curved line out, flat line over, connect. If you have room, draw a little curved line straight line, curve line up, connect. Come all the way up to the top and let's draw a curve line over, connect. Come down a little bit and let's draw little straight lines all the way down the side of the left. And again, I want this to look like it has something in it, so I draw another wavy, wavy line at the bottom. And I'm going to draw little tiny baby circles going up, keep going, it's a long neck, keep going all the way up to the very top. That is called, this is a beaker and this is a volumetric flask. Okay, right next to that on the right side I'm going to draw another flat oval. Come on the left hand side and draw a straight line down right hand side, draw another straight line down. Come to the bottom and draw a slightly curved line, connect. Now come over to this side on the left and draw a straight diagonal out, straight diagonal in, straight line across, <clears throat> excuse me, on the left. Now let's do it on the right, straight diagonal out, straight diagonal down, and connect. Come back to the left Draw a little straight line down, straight line over, straight line down, straight line connect, straight line across, little straight line down, connect, straight diagonal up, little straight line connect. This is a graduated cylinder and this has little lines again all the way down on the left. And I'm going to add one more curve line down here at the bottom. And I'm going to put a little wavy, wavy line here across the top and some straight lines shooting up. Okay? All right. Let's see how we're going to color these in. Okay, the main reason I put some liquid inside of these is so that you can see them a little bit better how they would hold something. So the first one I did green. My second one I did scarlet or red, orange. And I colored in all my little bubbles going up. Okay, and then the last one I did blue-green. That's all. Super simple. Just to show you what the liquid would look like sitting inside. 
All right, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, this is my glassware all colored in. And naturally, I was thinking it would be fun to put some little eyeballs or little hands crawling up and down the sides. But this is also just for science, so we'll leave the creepy stuff out. And hello to my friends in India. Okay, bye-bye.